I'm going to show you how to remove the tiny lens of a vintage Soviet camera and adapt it to any mirrorless full-frame camera. The Smena? Smena? Smena. Change. The Smyrna was a low-cost 35mm film camera manufactured in the Soviet Union by the factory Lomo from 1953 to 1962. The first series of Smyrna is also known as the Smyrna 1. Smyrna means young generation or change. These cameras were designed to be inexpensive and accessible to the public. It's a very simple viewfinder camera made of bakelit. And on the camera, you can find a free element lens and a leaf shutter. Right now, the Smyrna 1 are very cheap and you can find them for less than 20 euros online. I'm going to remove the lens and adapt it to my full frame A7 III. It's important to note that this is a non-destructive operation and that you can put the lens back on the Smyrna at any moment. First, you need to remove the small screws that hold the lens cover. Now I can unscrew the body of the lens. We need to remove this old grease using a toothpick and some lighter fluid. Now that the cover is clean, we can put it back. It's a good moment for lens cleaning. There's no real adapter for this lens. So I'm going to add some gaffer tape around the thread of the lens to make it fit into a M25 to M42 adapter ring. I am adding more and more tape until the fit is perfect and safe. Now I can safely insert it into an M42 helicoid with a flat M42 to E-mount adapter. Wide open, the lens is extremely sharp. Of course, the fact that the minimum aperture is 4.5 explains why the lens is so sharp.
One of the most interesting aspects of the lens is that it delivers a swirly bokeh that gets more pronounced when you come closer to your subject. The lens also creates some interesting rainbow flares. Even if it's a pretty slow lens, it performs very well in low-light scenarios. The lens is so small that I managed to turn it into an anamorphic lens using the narrow anamorphic adapter. The lens fits perfectly inside and creates some nice cinemascope footage. This tiny lens has a lot of potential and can create some stunning images on a full-frame camera. I will keep experimenting with it and maybe compare it with other 40mm lenses.